Hello again. Uh, coming out of the last couple of videos, which were quite long and possibly a bit dull, uh, looking at the drums, I wanted just to um, to do something a bit shorter and a bit punchier, looking at some stuff that isn't mentioned in the score. Um, there's a few things going on in this track that aren't indicated in the score, as far as I could see. So we're going to start by having a look at... This effect here that you can hear is dotted around a few times throughout the song. Um, basically the effects in this track are what we call transition effects. So they help us to transition from one section to another. So we're going to start off by looking at this sort of sweeping effect here. So what you'll need for this is a synthesizer which has got a noise generator. Um, there are a few of these in Logic, the ESP can do it, the ES2 as well, and also this one that I'm using, the ES1. So I'm not going to go into like a really in-depth tour of all of this instrument's functions. Um, we're just going to look at the specific settings to get this sweeping sound. Okay, so here's my ES1, brand new synth, playing uh, the default sound. Nice. Uh, so what we're going to do is over here bring this wave slider all the way down to sub. Okay, and then this dial here, going to bring this down uh, around here to noise, which is this one. And already, you kind of hear where we're going. Um, now to get this long sweep, I want to bring my decay control right up to the top, and I'm going to bring the sustain down to about here. Two more settings, I'm going to switch this off by closing this right down and I'm going to push this control up so that these two meet, so that these two are together. The very last thing I'm going to do is to switch my filter type from 24 dB fat to 24 dB classic. Now what you can do to kind of adjust this sound to taste is you can adjust the cutoff control to make the sound brighter or darker or you can adjust these two but do keep these two blue controls together and that's the sound so as you can hear in the track it's quite long basically in terms of the note input you want a note that is about four bars long Now velocity will have an effect on the volume of the sound, which is good because right in the end, we've got there are two of these in the outro. Whoops, and the second one is quieter. So what I've done with this second note. Is in the region parameters I've just brought the velocity down to make that quieter. There we go.